Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a, another one of my favorite kinds of videos, testing Aussie drugstore makeup. So at Priceline's last sale, I went and got a few new pieces and I'm really excited to share with you how they perform. But first I wanted to talk about the jewelry that I am wearing today. I was kindly gifted some pieces from Ana Luisa to share with you in today's video. Now I have worn their jewelry before and I absolutely love the pieces I already own. If you aren't familiar with the brand, Ana Luisa is a New York based company that creates affordable, high quality jewelry. I can definitely stand by that because the rings and earrings that I already own have not tarnished at all. The earrings, I don't need to take them out in the shower. They still look as beautiful as the day I got them. Ana Luisa is 100% carbon neutral and their prices start from 39 US dollars. Now I do have a discount code that I will put on the screen and down in the description box and that will save you 20% off of your order. First of all, I love how the pieces are packaged. They are in these beautiful fabric pouches that feel super luxe for such affordable jewelry and they are great to continue to store your pieces in as well. Now the first set of earrings that I've got on are the Venus and they are a medium gold hoop and I love this style of earring because I feel like they give a really polished look to any outfit. And then the huggy style I have in my seconds are the Emmy by Yusuf and they have this beautiful little teardrop gemstone which comes in like your classic silver or this beautiful amber orange. And then I did get a few styles of these small dainty chain necklaces. Again, I feel like this kind of jewelry just adds that little bit of glam to any outfit and can really finish off a look. So the first one I have is the Charlotte chain necklace and I love the little detail with the flattened chain. Now that can obviously be worn on its own or you can layer it. If you do prefer to layer your necklaces, then this set that I'm wearing is perfect for you. It's called the Heritage and it comes with two separate necklaces. So they're not joined together and they are different lengths. This particular set does also come in silver if you prefer that. And what I love about all these necklaces is that they have three different loops so you can customize the length of each chain. If you wanna check out these pieces or anything else from the Ana Luisa range, then you can click the link in my description box. It's not affiliate, but it does help track how many clicks or sales that I get. If you have any questions regarding the jewelry, then leave me a comment down below. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get into the makeup. All right, so starting with foundation, I have one here from the Kind Collective, which is more of a newer brand in a price line. They are Australian, cruelty-free, and vegan. So so this is called the Superhero 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer with Vitamin C and it comes in six shades. I did pick up the lighter shade in the range. This is fair and it says it has a neutral undertone. It's described to be a buildable, multi-use product with a radiant matte full coverage finish. Okay, let me wrap my head around that. Full coverage but buildable, radiant but matte. Now I'm not going to put on any other primers because I just wanna see how the foundation goes on its own. I really want to because this pregnancy skin is doing things to me, but that's okay. Let's put the foundation to the test. Okay, shade doesn't actually look that bad. Okay, it's drying down pretty quick. I feel like I've got to move fast. Okay, I am not loving how that is sitting on the skin. It definitely has a radiant finish, like I can see a bit of a glow there. Um, not full coverage straight away. Let me just put on a little bit more here and see how it builds. All right, it's building, but it's still not giving me a full coverage. And so what I don't like about how it's sitting, I'm hoping you can see up here, it just looks a little patchy, as well as down here on my chin. It's just not sitting very nicely, it looks a bit dry. Maybe I will go in with a little bit of primer on this side. This is the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Primer just to add a bit of hydration because I've done all my skincare, I've moisturized, so it's not like my skin is dry. Might also just do a brush on this side and see if that makes any difference. Okay, back in with this sponge. The brush definitely gives more coverage, which is quite normal but it's still looking patchy even once I go over it with the sponge. Can you see down here just how it's sitting all funky? 
By the way, my skin type is kind of combination. I get a little oily throughout my T-zone, but then dry around any breakouts. As I said before, my pregnancy skin, it's just giving me more breakouts, but it's not like overly dry or oily. So the foundation is definitely sitting weird, like not how foundation usually sits. I don't think I can actually continue with this. It looks so bad. All right, fresh face starting again. Let's go in with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Now this one I have only tested out once, maybe twice. And I did test it out with the powder, like the e.l.f. Camo powder, and together they weren't a good match. So I've been wanting to try them separately to see if the foundation was the problem or the powder was the problem. <laughs> so I've got the shade here, Fair 120N, and this one is described to give a full coverage but natural finish. Okay, so far so good. The shade is quite light, but I think I can fix that up with bronzer and all that. It's sitting much nicer on my skin. It's giving kind of a medium coverage at the moment. It's not clinging to any of these breakouts here. The texture of this is quite, like it feels a bit thick and heavy when I first put it on with the brush, but once I blend it out, it feels much better. Okay, I look completely washed out right now, but I'm really happy with how this is looking. Let's zoom it in. It looks nice and smooth. I do have a bit of a glow there. The coverage is really nice. As I said earlier, it's not clinging to any of these breakouts. For concealer, I'm going in with my favorite at the moment. This is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. And I have the shade Light. Oh my God, it just makes my under eyes look so flawless. Like look how smooth my under eyes look. I just can't get enough of this concealer. Okay, now that we've finally got a base on, let's add some color. So for bronzer, I'm really excited about this one. It is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer. Now I found this at Priceline a couple, ah, I just stabbed myself with these pointy tweezers. As I was saying, I found this bronzer at Priceline a couple of weeks ago and was super excited because one of my favorite YouTubers, Jessica Braun, raves about it all the time. Now I did swatch them in store and I end up going with the shade medium because I preferred the undertone. I'm going to use this Real Techniques Expert face brush. It's quite tiny, it's dense, really, really good for cream products. Right, I've got a little bit on my brush and I'm just going to tap it off on my hand because that's actually quite pigmented. And I'll just go in with a little bit at a time. Okay, that is blending beautifully. Just a few little light taps. Wow. It's actually leaving quite a radiant finish. I feel like it's got a bit of a glow to it. I cannot believe how easily that has blended out. It is super creamy. And I am really liking the medium shade. I'm glad I went with that. I know when you've got fair skin, it's always like tempting just to go for the lighter shade. But as you saw in these swatches, the lighter shade had quite a warm orange undertone, whereas the medium is a bit more cool. So it's going to suit me better. There's a foundation in my hair. The blush I picked up is also from Makeup Revolution. This is the Super Dewy Liquid Blush. And I picked it up in the shade You Got Me Blushing, which looks like quite a deep shade. I'm very excited about it. Now this is described to be a buildable gel cream pigment that dabs into the skin to create a healthy, radiant flush of color. It has quite a moussey texture as opposed to a gel, I would say. This is the shade here, very pretty, very pigmented. So what I'm going to do with this is take the bum of my sponge and just lightly tap it into the blush and then tap onto the cheeks. I like applying cream or liquid blushes like this because you can just go in little bits at a time and build it up. And if it does dry down fast, then you're not like screwed with this big blotch of blush on your face. Okay, so far I'm absolutely loving that shade. It's giving a little bit of dew, but not as much as I was expecting from the title and the description. I kind of thought it was going to be like the Emco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tints. They definitely have a gel formula and leave a super dewy finish. But as I said, this one does feel more moussey. 
Okay, well, I love the shade. I love the pigment. I feel like it's really easily buildable. It does look like it's got a nice glow. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not as dewy as I thought. It's definitely radiant, but it's not like super dewy. For cream highlighter, I'm going to go in with the new Astralis Dewy and Daring Highlighting Stick. This is in the shade It Girl. I did do a whole video testing these out, including the bronzers and the blushes. If you want to watch that, I will link it down below. But these are absolutely beautiful and I highly recommend picking some up if you're in the market. Even if you're not, I would still get them, but you know, I don't want to be out here forcing you to spend money. But these are really nice. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder and put some under the eyes and just in the T-zone. For my brows, I've got the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Brow Gel and I picked up the clear shade. Now this says it sets brows with a flexible hold, so I'm not expecting any kind of like soap brow effect, but I'm hoping it does help lift them up a little bit because they're pretty flat and boring right now. Let's see what the wand is like. All right, it's like, it's tiny, but as you can see, one side has longer bristles than the other. All right, so it's definitely brushed them up a little. I can agree that it gives a flexible hold. I'm actually quite happy with how they're sitting. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of a brow pencil now and fill in the gaps. And I think that's quite good. They have set down too, not like crunchy, but I can feel that they're in place. All right, brows are done. They are a little bit darker than usual today because I did freshly tint them. And I went in with this Revlon Colorstay Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. Usually I would like a bit of a lighter shade, but the formula of this brow pencil is beautiful. It's really creamy, glides easily. I love the small micro tip and the spoolie really helps to like blend the product out. All right, for eyeshadow, I have another one from The Kind Collective. They have released these nine pan eyeshadow palettes and I have the shade Golden Bronze. This one, as I said, is Golden Bronze, but it is more cool toned. Really loving the look of this shade. We've got some nice shimmers. And then I also picked up one of the NYX Ultimate Glow Shots to try. And this is the shade Golden Goji. The formula is a bit thinner than I thought, but that actually might be quite nice because whenever I use like liquid metallic shadows like this, they can look a little bit heavy and chunky on the lid. And that has quite a nice glow to it. Oh, I'm excited for that. So maybe what I'll do is go in with some of the matte browns and then this goldy shimmer shade, because that looks like it's going to match more closely to the NYX shimmer shot. Although this brown shade here looks stunning. Okay, it's not super pigmented, but look at that sheen. Ooh. All right, first impression, it's got a nice amount of pigment and it's blending well. The shade is also like the same on the eyelid as it looks in the pan. Sometimes shadows can trick you like that. I think I might go for a halo eye. So I'm just going to put this shade on the inner and outer corners and kind of blend it into the middle. Yeah, that's nice. That blended so easily. All right, now I'm going to use a tiny pencil brush with that deep brown shade and just darken up the inner and outer corners. I always get scared with the dark shades in drugstore palettes because they can often be quite patchy. So I'm just going in with a light hand to blend this, little bits at a time to build it up. If it's anything like that first shade though, it's going to work beautifully. All right, so that shadow actually blended all right. It is looking like a little bit patchy, but yeah. So for the shimmer, as I said, I'm going to go in with the gold shade and I'm just using a very flat eyeshadow brush. We'll see how much pigment it actually has. Oh, okay. That's actually quite nice. Okay, now for the glow shot, I think I'm just going to put a little bit on my palette here and then use a brush to kind of like tap it on. Okay, that is definitely adding a sparkle, like a metallic glow. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, look how much more vibrant this eye looks compared to just the shadow. It doesn't dry down too quickly either, so you do have time 
to kind of work with it and blend it out. All right, that's dried down really nicely. It's not looking chunky or like it's creasing. This could be your winner for liquid eyeshadows. For mascara, I'm going in with one by Essence. This is the Another Volume Mascara, Just Better. I love the name of that. It's like they release so many good mascaras. Here's another one, it's just better. This is what the wand looks like. I have used this a few times and I really like it. Like, look at that. Long, separated, beautiful. Okay, I am loving that gold shadow. It is so metallic, beautiful. All right, and then lastly for lips, I've got some products here by Karen Murrell. Now I was introduced to this brand at the last Priceline Beauty Prescription live event. I had never heard of it before, but I believe she is a New Zealand, yeah, it's a New Zealand based brand. So to start out, I've got the Natural Lip Pencil and this is in the shade 02. Now I believe this brand, she was very focused on like how much lipstick you digest. So it says on the box here all the list of things that it does not contain. Now what's really interesting about this lip pencil is that it comes with a little lip brush on the other end. And then this is the lipstick also in the shade 02. Look how beautiful the, is it called embossing? Is on the lipstick. Okay, that lipstick is beautiful. It feels so luxe. It's rich, it's creamy, and it's just giving a slight satin finish. Ooh, that is beautiful. All right, well, that is everything I am testing out today. Let's do a quick run through of my thoughts on all the products. So starting with the Kind Collective Foundation, I don't even know if I want to give it another go. Maybe with a really hydrated base, I can see how it goes, but that formula just did not sit well on my skin. So instead I use the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream and it is actually looking really nice. It hasn't broken up anywhere. It's not looking patchy or dry. I am really, really happy with that one. The Revolution Cream Bronzer, amazing, beautiful, love the shade, love how creamy it is, blends beautifully. I just can't wait to dip into that again. The Revolution Super Dewy Blush. As I said, the formula doesn't really give what it's describing to give, but I still really love the shade. It blended nicely and I do have a little bit of a glow from it. I would still recommend this, but it's giving you something a little bit different to what it describes. If you really want a dewy gel finish, as I mentioned, go with the Emco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tints. The CoverGirl Clean Fresh Brow Gel, I actually really liked. I think that it set my brows in place nicely, brushed up the hairs enough. So if you like kind of that in-between look, like not extreme soap brows, but you still want your brows, like you need them to be held in place, I think that this is a really good option. The Kind Collective Eyeshadow Palette, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I like that the shades look the same in the pan as they do on your eyelids. They blended quite easily. The dark brown shade was a little bit patchy, but nothing too bad. I would definitely dip into it again. The metallic shades were nice, well, the one that I used, but they weren't like extremely metallic. So if you were just going to use it on its own, maybe you could try wetting your brush first. The NYX Glow Shop, wow. I have not used a liquid, what's this called? Like metallic shadow in a long time that hasn't actually like looked heavy and creasy and broken up. And this is still looking beautiful and giving the most gorgeous glow. I love it. I think I'll definitely have to pick up a few more of these. And then we've got the lip liner and lipstick. I think they were both beautiful, creamy. They did the job. They feel super luxe. So I would definitely check out this brand if you're after something that feels just a little bit more high end than your regular drugstore lipstick. Don't forget to go and check out these fabulous jewelry pieces by Ana Luisa by clicking the link in the description box. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.